again. Interesting sentence with past tense, present perfect. Past tense, present perfect. I saw it. Yo sí lo vi. I saw it. Pero que yo sepa. But as far as I know, tan lejos como yo sepa, as, así lo decimos en inglés, aquí complicamos a veces las cosas. Eh? As far as I know, él no lo ha visto todavía, que yo sepa. Eh? As far as I know, he hasn't seen it yet. I saw it. Que conste, eh? I saw it. I saw it. Yo vi lo. O sea, yo lo vi. I saw it. But as far as I know, 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 as far as I know. So you said the idea of expression. As far as I know, he hasn't seen it yet. He hasn't seen it. La N de seen se enlace con la I latina de it. He hasn't seen it yet. I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. But as far as I know, he hasn't seen it yet. Hola, bienvenidos a clase número 195. Y la frase de hoy es... I saw it, but as far as I know, he hasn't seen it yet. En español, lo vi, pero que yo sepa, él no la ha visto todavía. O aún. Bien, vamos con la primera parte. Saw, que es vi. Entonces, este es el verbo to see, ver, pero al ser irregular, decimos every day I see y yesterday I saw. Bien, cuidado que no decimos saw o so, sino saw, saw. Una vez más, saw, repite conmigo, saw. Muy bien. Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos. We saw his new house. It's huge. I saw your new office the other day. It's true. It's brand new. Y aquí tenemos la palabra del día. To be brand new. Estar completamente y totalmente nuevo. Muy bien. Nos vemos en un minuto. Today I'm shopping with a mission. Mm -hmm. Because last week I saw the perfect dress. Mm -hmm. I saw the perfect dress. And it was on sale. Mm -hmm. I saw it in Sarah's shop. It was 30% off. Mm -hmm. I saw it right over there. So today I'm going to go and get it. <laughs> Eso decimos, I saw it last week. Repeat with me. I saw it last week. Perfect. Say, I saw it last week and I had to have it. <laughs> Perfect. Also, last week I saw some shoes. Oh my God, I saw the most perfect shoes. The problem was I forgot my credit card. I know, disaster. So anyway, today I have my credit card and I'm going to go and find the shoes and the dress because I saw them last week. Okay, I'm gonna to go to Sarah's shop. Oh my God, Sarah's shop is closed. But, but I saw the shoes last week. They must be in there. I know they're in there. I need the shoes. I saw them last week and I love them. The same with the dress. It was 30% off last week. I saw it. Okay, I really need Sarah's shop to open because I saw so many things last week and I'm shopping with a mission. Hmm. Bien, vamos con la segunda parte de la frase de hoy, que es as far as I know. En español, que yo sepa. Bien, as far as I know, al ser una frase hecha, la podemos enlazar como si fuera una palabra. Primero con as far as, as far as, as far as I know. Muy bien. Vamos a ver unos cuantos ejemplos. As far as I know, he saw the memo. As far as I know, she didn't do it. Que yo sepa, ella no lo hizo. As far as I know, he's been working all day. Ahora, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Que yo sepa, el jefe entró más tarde de lo normal. A ver. Muy bien, eso es. As far as I know, the boss came in later than usual. Un par de ejemplos más. As far as I know, she's still married to him. Y ojo que want to be married to him es con to y nunca con with. Muy bien, nos vemos en la siguiente parte. Hi, it's Frank, the security guard. We've got a very, very serious situation on our hands. 
there is a dangerous criminal on the loose. Yeah. As far as I know, he's extremely dangerous. Yeah. And as far as I know, he's armed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's got arms and arms. He's armed and dangerous, as far as I know. I don't have very much information right now, but as far as I know, he is a vicious killer. Yeah. As far as I know, you don't want to be caught near him. No quiere estar cerca de él. Yeah. As far as I know. I could be wrong. As far as I know. Aprendetelo como una frase hecha. As far as I know. Que yo sepa. As far as I know, he's a dangerous criminal. As far as I know, he's armed. Yeah, que tiene armas. He's armed and dangerous. As far as I know. Si lo traduces es tan lejos como yo sé. O como yo sepa, right? Que no, es una, que no se traduce, pero si lo piensas así, por lo que yo puedo ver, as far as I know, he's dangerous. So we've got to do something, guys. I want you to send me any information you have. And we're going to catch this guy. You can bet. Bien, vamos con la tercera parte de la frase de hoy, que es hasn't seen it. En español, no lo ha visto. Y aquí tenemos el past participle del verbo to see, que es ver. Y anteriormente vimos every day I see, yesterday I saw, y ahora lately I've seen. Y en este caso, en la tercera persona del singular, hasn't seen, en el present perfect simple. Muy bien, vamos a ver algunos ejemplos. He hasn't seen it yet. Ahí contrayendo para que suene mucho más natural. Hasn't seen it yet. Muy bien. She hasn't seen the last episode. Ella no ha visto el último capítulo. Ahora, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Es una lástima que no lo haya visto. Ya no se emite. A ver. Eso es. It's a shame she hasn't seen it. It's not on anymore. Muy bien, muy bien hecho y nos vemos en la siguiente clase. What's this? Oh, it's a fantastic opportunity for Steve. Oh, it's right in front of his face, but he hasn't seen it yet. Oh my God, it's so obvious, but he hasn't seen it yet. Eso, no lo ha visto aún. He hasn't seen it yet. Repeat it with me. He hasn't seen it yet. Good. Wait, what's this? <gasps> There's a good opportunity for Frank to catch his criminals. <gasps> But he hasn't seen it yet. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> And Zach, today I left our wedding present in his house. But he hasn't seen it yet. It's in a very obvious place, but he hasn't seen it yet. I'm going to use my telepathic powers. Zach, your wedding present is on the kitchen table. Look for it. Look for it. Oh, he hasn't seen it yet. Why hasn't he seen it yet? I don't know. My telepathic powers aren't working today. <laughs> 